Hi, Kevin Coop here, and this is FaceTime with the Content Guy. So I was reading a story the other day that I found kind of interesting, and it talked about how the, quote, disintermediated media world is characterized by consumer choice, which facilitates consumer control over the media that they wish to use. Now, it's interesting, that sounds like a lot like the argument that I've been making here on Morning Newsbeat for a long time, that as, um, as the source of product that con consumers can consume becomes more varied, more diverse, it gives the consumer more control, not less control, over the product and where they're going to consume it. It's really very simple. Now, it's interesting because the retail world is it's sort of a different stage of the, of, the, uh, of the continuum, if you will, than, say, the media world is. The media world, I think, is further along. There's a lot more choice there. Clearly, we can all consume whatever the content happens to be in a lot of different ways from a lot of different kinds of venues. Which led me to the, 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 the additional point that I found kind of interesting. Because the other point the article was making was the fact that as there's more diversification, traditional methods of measuring the audience for any particular media product, they become increasingly irrelevant because you just simply can't, you, you can't count on them the same way they used to. I mean, right, there used to be Nielsen families. They would figure out, you know, who was watching what on TV when there were three channels, six channels, 60 channels. But increasingly, if I'm going to go on my laptop and consume media, even media that can be seen in traditional ways, that's a lot harder to measure. It's difficult for, that, for companies to charge the same kinds of advertising rates, may, make the same kinds of uh, promises to sponsors if the, my ability is much more diverse and I'm totally in control of it. And there's really nothing that the traditional media can do anymore, which is why you see companies like CBS and ABC look into streaming networks that are going to have completely different content than on their traditional networks. They understand that they have to change their business model if they're going to survive. And, you know, the same thing is with retail, right? The more and more the consumer is in charge, retailers and, and traditional businesses have to adapt to that. Because if they don't adapt to it, what they face is growing irrelevance. And that's the wrong kind of growing if you're in business. Um, you know, and I think, you know, traditionally I've, I've come to, you know, I've come to this over a number of years. Companies have to re retrofit not just the way they do business, but the way they think about business and the way they measure their successes and failures. You just can't do it the same old way anymore. You know, I, I just think that's the way things happen to be. And I think it's important to main, maintain as you do this, not, not cynicism, if you will, but sort of a sense of wonder, right? I mean, I see all this stuff and I suppose I could get cynical about it, but mostly I, I, I just have this, you know, yeah, do I have some cynicism? Yeah, a little bit, you know, a little bit of skepticism. But mostly I, I continue to be amazed and almost every day that I do Morning Newsbeat, there's a story there that just, you know, knocks my socks off. It, it gobsmacks me, if you will. And I think to myself, wow, isn't it amazing how far we've come? That's a particular app thought to have today because it so happens that today is the 14th anniversary of the very first morning that I sat down to write Morning News Beat. It's 14 years that I've been doing this. Longest job ever I've ever had, and quite frankly, the most fun. You know, the, the days simply pile up. When I started Morning News Beat 14 years ago, I had something like 100 people that I sent it to, that first wake-up call to, uh, and they were all friends of mine, and I, I kind of hope they'd like it, and I kind of hope they'd tell their friends about it. Well, today, as I talk to you, we have well over 33,000 subscribers. Um, and I think I like to think that we, we make up like this community of people that we share ideas, sometimes we argue, sometimes we debate, but mostly it's all about civilized discussion, about really interesting ideas, sometimes about the business, sometimes it's about the designated hitter, sometimes it's about beer and wine, and sometimes it's about who is the best captain really on Star Trek, Picard or Kirk? I tend to think Cisco, but that's just me. You know, and it's, it's been a great 14 years. And I, and I really want to thank, I have to thank, frankly, the sponsors who have, have kind of kept this going and kept me alive all these years because it's been wonderful. I'm glad that they have found the audience to be as receptive to their ideas as I found the audience to be receptive to mine. And I also want to thank you because as the reader, if you didn't come and read Morning News Beat each day and tell your friends about it, we wouldn't grow. We wouldn't thrive. We all wouldn't be as so much fun as I think we're all having, uh, or at least that I'm having. Um, you know, I'm occasionally asked how long I'm going to do this, and I've been thinking about it lately. And I'm thinking I'm going to do it for like 25 years. So I've got another 11 years to go at least. 
but I can't imagine giving this up, and I hope you feel somewhat the same way as well. Anyway, that's what's on my mind this great Thursday morning. And as always, I want to hear what's on your mind.